Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial we will be going over how you can use multiple viewpoints in Affinity Photo. So the first thing that you have to do is come down to the Navigator tab, and as you see, there's a little dialog box right here that will show you your whole picture, and you can zoom in however you would like with this slider. What we also can do is come over to this drop-down panel and click on Advanced. Now what this does is allow you to set multiple viewpoints that you can switch between while working in Affinity Photo. So what you can do is you can hit Add, and this will be your viewpoint one, and this is, say, Fit to Zoom. So what you can do then is you can zoom in on something, say, this tree, and then you can add another viewpoint, and this is viewpoint two. So whatever this blue rectangle is highlighting will be your next viewpoint. So then, say you want to zoom in even further, you can get quite pixelated, and say you wanted to work on this branch of the tree, and you can hit add for viewpoint three. Now, what you can do is now switch between all of these viewpoints quite easily without having to affect how you zoom in and get it the same every time. And now it is the same every time. And what you can do is rename each of these. So say, zoom to fit. And say we go to viewpoint two, we can rename this scale, scaled tree. Or even better, let's name it tree full. And then we can select viewpoint three and say tree zoomed. That'll work better. And now we have these three viewpoints. So if you wanted to go in and have the tree zoomed, you can now do some touch-ups. Maybe you want to blur some things here. Maybe blur the tree. And then you can uh, quickly zoom out and see how that would look. And then say you want to zoom out and say you liked the blurred look. You can now have the full tree blurred. And that is the viewpoints tool in Affinity Photo. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer tutorials, as well as some tech videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.